Hey everybody, I'm back with a special project that I've been working on, and that is I'm going to uh, chronicle all my PSA graded cards uh, according to year. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my earliest cards uh, dating back from the post-war era. So we're talking 1948 on up. I'm going to go all the way up to 51 Bowman that you see right here. So without further delay, I'm going to start up here in the top left corner, and sorry if there's a glare. Uh, 48 Bowman, Ralph Kiner there, that's his true rookie card. You can see that it was a black and white issue. Not very colorful. There are some Hall of Famers in that set. But uh, to the right there, the 48 Leaf, Ralph Kiner. Both these cards uh, say 1948 on it. But this uh, Ralph Kiner Leaf on the right is actually, I believe, from 49. Uh, Leaf 48 actually produced their cards in 48 and 49. And if you look at the Ralph Kiner, it actually has his stats from the 48 season. On the back which is kind of a telltale sign that this was actually produced in 49 and you know it wasn't like leaf had uh, any plans to continue to make a set every year you know this was kind of a new thing again uh, coming after world war ii you know when materials are scarce and uh you know kind of uh, opens the door to what we'll see later on as the the boom baby boom generation comes to age and the desire and need for uh for cards becomes more prevalent and then uh, looking on to another classic set, the 49 Bowman set. They come back with their first color issue here. And just a very gorgeous set. A lot of good Hall of Famers. There's a Robin Roberts. There's the Roy Campanella rookie. The Gil Hodges rookie. And uh, you'll see here at the uh, early win rookie as well on the right. You'll see a little difference there. The early win rookie card has his name on it. So this is the first card that actually had the names. I think a Hunt Cards 1 to 109 were like uh, the Gil Hodges where they didn't have the name on the front. And then the last uh, part of the set, including the high numbers, uh, all have the names on the front of the card. And uh, the back has got a signature versus a block name variation. So that's it for the 40s for me. I'm going to come on down to some of the 50s, starting with some 19, uh, let's go this way, 1950 Bowman. I'm just going to start here with some of the short numbers. It's a Don Newcomb rookie. So for 50 Bowman, I believe it's 1 through 72 are shorter print, harder to get cards. So they have a premium, got quite a few of those short prints. They're just a gorgeous Robin Roberts. That's a VG3. It's like the best looking VG3 I've ever seen in my life. A little off center, but that card is solid. No creases. <laughs> Corners are sharp. Edges are sharp. Everything's sharp on that thing. Then a Ralph Kiner. Bob Lemon, a couple Hall of Famers here to kick it off. A couple more commons. This is the Del Crandall rookie. I believe he was an eight-time All-Star with the Braves. Ted Kolzuski, a famous slugger. Willie Puddenhead Jones, third baseman for the Phillies. And then Kurt Simmons, who pitched a long time. And then this Howie Paulette here, and the five is the last one of the the short print series and then on to uh, a little bit more common from the 50s nice Richie Ashburn there in a VG3 Cass Michaels got a Gil Hodges I always love the card with the player uh, in the catcher's gear you know just something about that early win as well there's another Bob Swift in the catcher's pose And then now we're on to a different kind of card. This 51 Burke Ross. So uh, Burke Ross, it, uh, it was a 72 card set. Half the cards are baseball players and the other half are just uh, sports personalities of that day. And you can see on the left there it's perforated. So you had to tear that card apart. So um, it uh, came in boxes with two cards attached in each panel. Kind of like a four, four card series in the 72 set. And then over here, this 51 Tops Redback also, it, uh, it's not kind of perforated, but you can see on the top, kind of that cut there, where the card was attached to another card. Now this is the Redback variation. There's a Blueback as well that's a little bit more scarce. But that's a really nice uh, Monty Irving. This is his first card issue for Tops. And then we're on the 51 Bowman, a little bit bigger than the, uh, the 50 Bowman, but a lot in the same lines of those painted images. Very colorful set again. I'm just going to show you the rest of my 51 Bowman here. 
nice early win. Just a very colorful set, you know. It's uh, it is affordable to uh, in some regards. Fifty one, of course, is where you see the rise of the Mickey Mantle rookie card, the Willie Mays rookie card. I don't have either of those. I'm not a rich man by any means, but uh, I do love collecting these more common players just for the colors, the backgrounds. I always enjoy looking at the background. You know, you can see like uh, like in this Stan Rojak, you know, he they get this palm trees in the back, and this is you know he's playing for the Pirates, so this is probably done at spring training. Just very colorful. You know, I do have a few Hall of Famers here. That Richie Ashburn. And I talked about the tops, Monty Irving rookie. This is actually his Bowman. A very sharp card, uh, a near mint mint eight. Unfortunately, clearly off OC. But man, what I paid for that, you know, the OC to buy this OC, you're talking maybe 700, 650 bucks without it, you know, being OC. I don't even think I paid 10% of that for that being an OC. So you can't go wrong. And this was years ago, but uh, just just great to have that card in hand. And then a very beautiful 51 uh, Nelly Fox rookie. Just great color on that. And then this is the last card here. So not too bad of grades on those. But uh, overall, just a, a really cool looking set. I uh, love the history behind these cards as they, they continue to, to evolve into what we see today. But uh, that is everything 1948 to 1951 I have. Uh, the next one I'll be doing, I'll be doing some maybe some 52, 53, etc. But uh, once again, everybody, I appreciate you posting comments, and I'll talk to you again soon.